Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Dream Finger Picking, and in this lesson, we're learning how to play Why Georgia by John Mayer. Alright, so this song is number 31 on my top 60 finger picking songs to learn of all time list. If you've not seen it, make sure you check it out. It's down in the description. And it's my top 60 finger picking songs for beginner to advance. We're learning one song each week. So check it out. If you like the list and you like the songs, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of these great lessons. Let's start learning this fantastic song. Okay, so if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to get the tab for it, it's down in the description. So head down there, click on the tab, it's going to take you through to the website. And on the website, you've got the whole lesson. So you've got the, the whole song, all with tab and a whole lot more. So it's worth watching it over there. Anyway, let's start learning this song. It is a terrific song. Now, I'm a huge fan of John Mayer. So it's a real pleasure teaching you how to play this. So this is a little bit tricky if you're not used to this kind of style of playing. And actually, what the way I tend to play it, and this is kind of up to you, you don't have to, but uh, John Mayer does it as well. He uses a pick throughout. He's holding a pick when I've seen him play it live, but he's got it tucked away in his fingers. So I, I tend to tuck it sort of here in my first finger, curl my finger around like this, and it just stays in there, and then I can pick. I think he tends to do it more in, in the middle of his fingers like this. Um, it's going to come in handy later on when we kind of go to the, you know, to the to the chorus and start strumming. But you don't have to do it. It's just a suggestion. Anyway, so bear that in mind. So the intro and the verse is kind of the, the same thing. So it's just it's just a G chord going to a D chord basically. So holding down the third fret on the E string, hold that one down, and then have your third finger on the B string third fret. Okay, so you've got these two held down. Now start by playing the E string, and then using your first and second finger, play the G and the B. So you get. And then as soon as you do that, you want to hammer the G string second fret. Okay, and then we've got this tap running throughout, this percussive tap. Now you can get that if you don't know how to do it, I'm kind of slam, slamming my, my fingers or even just your thumb into the strings. You push down and knock them against the strings and that slaps against the frets and that produces a nice tapping sound. So hopefully you're okay doing that. You don't have to hit the strings hard to get a really nice sound. So slap your hand down against the strings, the strings hit the frets and you get that nice. It's emulating a snare drum. So you do that throughout pretty much, well, this part on the counts of two and four. So you've played the bass note, you've played the G and the B, hammer, tap, and then as soon as you get there, on the next note, you take your first finger off, play open G and B together. So if that's tricky, you've got to practice that. Get in the tap and then immediately after, the next two notes. Okay, so once you've got that, you play an open A string. go to this this new chord the D chord and I'm holding down there with my second and third finger with my third finger I'm playing the A string fifth fret and then I'm playing F sharp here which is the fourth fret on the D and using my thumb and my first finger I play those two strings so you've gone nice and slow a bit slower than that that wasn't very good Okay, and then you want to play the open G. 
Okay? And then you get another tap immediately after that. And as soon as you've done that, you play A, D, G, you're going thumb, one, two. So. So that's the main riff that goes round. Okay, so watch out as many times as you need to. Go very, very slowly. Be careful of the timing. The timing, you've got one and a two B and three, a four E and a. And just loop it round till you get it really, really, really tight. Once you've got that down, then it goes into... So that's kind of a, it's a C, C major 9 chord, C major 9 chord, and, uh, and then to a C6 9 chord. Don't need to worry too much about the names, but basically this first chord, I'm holding down the second, sorry, the third fret on the A string, second fret on the D string, fourth fret on the G, and third fret on the B string. Okay, so it kind of goes between that chord, and then want this first finger flat after that for your C6-9. So then I'm playing on A3, D2, G2, and B3. So get used to those two grips. Really nice jazzy chords. But So here, you get that, and that's repeated twice. So let me take you through that. Play the A string. Then with your first, second, and third finger, play the D, G, and B with your pinky on. Okay, and then back to the A string. So, and then take your little finger off and play the D, G, and B. Hammer the fifth fret on the D. So, and then pull off. Okay, that's tricky. Some of you are going to really struggle with that. Okay, so you play the bass, and then the three strings, back to the bass, three strings again, sorry, bass, three strings with the pinky on, back to the bass, take your pinky off, play the three strings, hammer the fifth, pull off, and then play the bass again. Okay, and then you play the D, G, and B again, and hammer the fifth on the D. So just that part really slow, the bass note on the A string, still with your pinky off, play the D, G and B again. Okay, so again up to there. And then you've got to tap, play the bass note, the A string, and then D, G and B with the pinky off, and hammer the G string 4th fret this time. Okay? And then that's all repeated, so let's go through it again. And again. And you just do that twice. Back to your riff. riff. So that's the intro and the verse. Um, it will do this part four times, and then it goes into the, the, the picking part here. But as I say, you know, follow through with the tab uh, provided, and make sure you're listening to the song, of course. Anyway, let's move on. Then we're going into the pre-chorus, and this is where using holding the pick is going to come in handy. So up until now, we've had the pick, maybe, if you're choosing to do it this way, um, tucked away in your fingers. So going into the into what, the pre-chorus, you're gonna go change. Okay, so on that last riff, just going in as normal, and then when you get to playing the D, the A and the D string, fifth fret and fourth fret together, then you play that and then change to holding the pick. 
that's going to lead you straight into an E minor. So you have to practice just to change. Wrong chord. So I play, and then one strum on this chord, straight to an E minor. And if you, uh, if you type in on, onto YouTube, John Mayer, Why Georgia Live, you can see him doing that. So if he does it, then we should probably be doing it too. Anyway, once you're into the chords, you've got an E minor 7, and then D slash F sharp. So E minor 7, open, 2, 2, open, and then I play 3, 3. Uh, that's your first chord, and then a D slash F sharp is just a D chord. With an F sharp in the bass, it's the second fret. I tend not to play that high E string for this. And then I go to a G major 7. You can just play a normal G. Or I've seen John Mayer play a G major 7 like this. So that's 3rd fret and then a normal G. But the 2nd fret on the high E. Okay. And then a C at 9. Which is A string 3, D2, open G, 3rd fret on the B. And then if you want to, you can play 3rd fret on the high E or open E as well. So they're your first group of chords. And you've got one bar on each uh, of the strumming. He's doing a lot of strumming in there. I'm not going to go over the specific strum pattern in, in this video. If you're learning this song, you should, you should be okay with the strumming there. Um, but if you know if you're really struggling, just keep it simple. Okay, but to listen to the song and you can you can work out the strumming. So you've done that, and then it goes back to E minor seven, D slash F sharp, and then you've got G A sus four. Okay, so. So E minus 7, a full bar, full bar of D slash F sharp, and then G to A sus4, 1 and 2 and, so you're going to change to the A sus4 on the count of the and of 2, so 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, so. It's on the end of two. And then you're into the chorus. So the chorus, I'm playing a D, but again, I don't play the high E string, so it's kind of just a D5, to A sus4, to G. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then D again, A sus4, but this time, E minus seven, with or without your pinky, for a whole bar. Back to D5, A sus4, G, Okay, so once more that part, D, A sus4, G, D, A sus4, E minus 7, D, A sus4, G, and then we got the, so that's F, and it goes to an F, it's kind of an F sus2 chord, but yeah, F major 7, but he puts the high E string in there, so it's like a F major 7 add 9 chord. Uh, so F, take your second finger off, and then release the first fret on the high E string, so you get third fret on the D, open G, first fret on the B, and then open E. So you've got 1, 2, and 3, 4, 1, 3, 1. Okay, so F. Sus2, F, C, G, C, G, 
Okay, so then you're back to the verse. It goes into verse 2, and then it changes up there. The rhythm's kind of a bit different. But if you want to learn that and you're not on the website, I'm going to split this lesson into two. And the other lesson is going to be over on the website. So that's just down in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. So check it out, and you can learn the rest of the song. All right, so that's it for today's lesson. I really hope that you've enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and share with your friends and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of these great lessons. And head over to sixstringfingerpicking.com for loads more fingerstyle and songwriting lessons. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.